you guys had a wonderful three-day weekend. I hope you guys scored proficient or advanced in all your benchmarks. And now we have Jocelyn with some important news. Hey boxers, just a reminder, parent coffee will be on October 20 from 4 to 6.30. So make sure you do, you're doing good in your classes and you have good grades. And also reminders, seniors to register for the ACT before October 22. So good luck. Next we have Jennifer with volunteer service because you seniors know you need it. Hello Boxers, a great place to volunteer is the Los Angeles Animal Shelter. If I can get a set to soak in you, remember seniors, we need 40 hours to graduate. And for the people that registered to the AIDS walk, remember it's October the 16th. Thank you, bye! And now we have Victor Flores with the weather. Hello, it's Victor with the weather guys. Um, for, for this week, Tuesday and Wednesday will be high 70. For Thursday and Friday will be low 70. So for Tuesday and Wednesday, you might want to wear a thin sweater. Thursday and Friday, you might want to wear a flannel. Thank you. Back to you, Christina. Next, we have Rebecca with Senior News. Hello, boxers. I'm Rebecca with important reminders. On Wednesday, October 12th, 9th graders will be working on Explore. 10th graders will be working on Plan. And 11th graders will be working on their PSAT from 8 to 11.30. As in for the seniors, we'll be having the writer's workshop from 8 through 12, along with a presentation from UC San Diego. Oh, P.S. Senior contracts that are in your packets are due now. Payments for senior activities are being taken in the counseling office. That's all for this week. Back to you. Last but not least, we have Hyrule once again with Random News. Oh, hey guys, I'm Hiro, and today with Random News, we have your literary moment. Oh, it's time for this literary moment. Cool, with the bard, Shakespeare. Actually, today's um, author that we're kind of really focusing on is Emily Dickinson. Emily Dickinson was a poet, American poet, who is a master of juxtaposition. Matter of fact, if I can think of one of her poems, it starts by, I heard a fly buzz when I died. The stillness in the air. Oh, rewind. I heard a fly buzz when I died. The stillness in the room was like the stillness in the air between the heaves of storm. And so she was kind of a master of juxtaposition. That means putting two points together and implying a third point. Well, you know what? We have a local person today, and she is the grand prize winner of the Emily Dickinson Award because her poetry is amazing. We're going to call her over here today. Where is she? Adelene! Adelene, where are you? Adelene, come on up. Come on over. Come on down those stairs. the grand prize for all 11th graders who uh, participate in the Emily Dickinson Award and she's going to read her poem here today. She didn't even know that. She was over there, you know, just thought she was in the audience. So if you would, read nice and slow, okay? And Adelene Picarte. I heard a car crash as I slept. A gust of noise so real. The screeching of cars raised my peace, an image that won't leave. I awaken, gasping for air. My, my heart races, breathless. I'm wide awake in my dark room as I stare at darkness. I lay in bed trying to sleep as I try to not think that it will ha all happen again, a nightmare that will end. Anyway, congratulations to Adelaine for a uh, grand prize winner for Emily Dickinson Award. Go Boxers! This has been This Literary Moment. This Literary Moment. This Literary Moment. This Literary Moment. Yeah, we're done. Congratulations again to Ali Lenny. And we, right now we have a message from Mr. King. Hey you guys, how you doing? This is Mr. King. I'm announcing the talent competition. Uh, talent competition is happening in the school. Each week three students are going to be competing, uh, doing a certain talent to share with all of you and you're going to get a vote. Who, who do you think is the best talented? I'm really calling on all the students to come out, you know, put out their best effort and don't be afraid to fail. You know, go out and do your best. Um, uh, three students every week and uh, give them your support. All right. Love. Peace.
If you guys need more information, ask Mr. King. And don't forget, tomorrow, Wednesday, we get out early at 12.45, I believe. And we're going to be in advisory the whole day. Thanks, and back to you, Rangers. Thanks for watching. I'm Christina. And I'm Vanessa. And this was Foster TV 5.